Let's get to the president's trip in Asia. The North Korea nuclear missile threat still looming. President Trump asking Congress for an additional $4 billion for missile defenses to upgrade them in Asia against the rogue regime and also to improve U.S. Navy ships there. Take a look at defense stocks, how they did today. Boeing, Raytheon, Lockheed, Martin, Northrop, Northrop Grumman, all ending the day up arrows there in the green. President Trump warning North Korea he is prepared to use strong military force. He also urges North Korea to come to a peaceful solution. Listen. We have many things happening that we hope, we hope, in fact, I'll go a step further, we hope to God we never have to use. With that being said, I really believe that it makes sense for North Korea to come to the table and to make a deal that's good for the people of North Korea and the people of the world. Let's bring in former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. and Fox News contributor, Ambassador John Bolton. Good to see you, Ambassador. Glad to be with you, Lloyd. What do you think? North Korea comes to the table? Uh, if they did, it would only be as a ruse to provide more camouflage as they uh, uh, sprint across the finish line. This is something North Korea has done many times before. It's a variant on a communist uh, party of China strategy called Da Da Tan Tan in, uh, in Chinese. It means fight, fight, talk, talk. For the North Koreans, it means develop your nuclear weapons until the United States gets too upset, and then talk with them for a while while you continue the program clandestinely. Look, the only agreement with North Korea on uh, their nuclear weapons that makes sense to me is the entire North Korean government resigning and disappearing somewhere. So, you know, the president is pushing for more missile defense money for the area, for the region. Uh, wants China and Russia to, you know, put the pressure on North Korea. Will this work? Well, I think it's important to upgrade our missile defense capabilities, not only for what we used to call theater missile defense for Japan, South Korea, for our forces deployed there, but for national missile defense, the kind of program that George W. Bush started and that the Obama administration all but killed, the purpose of which is to defend us against missiles from the likes of North Korea and Iran. We've got a partial a system in place. It's nothing like what Bush contemplated. It's not the technically uh, our capabilities are good, but the extent of the system and its redundancy are not good enough, not nearly good enough. You can blame all of that on Obama. So I think it's a big deal that the president's proposed this significant budget increase. I'm sure there are $4 billion of wasteful domestic spending we could cut and it would have no effect on the deficit. You know, let's get to what's going on in Saudi Arabia. Look at oil prices surging to its highest level in over two years amid rising tensions in the Middle East. Motorists paying more at the pump with the national gas price average at $2.53 a gallon. Saudi Arabia basically blaming Iranian-backed Yemeni rebels launching a ballistic missile over Saudi Arabia's capital of Riyadh. Saudi Arabia's crown prince saying the attack, quote, may be considered an act of war against the kingdom. Ambassador, what do you see here? Is the Middle East now at the leading edge of something, a big massive change or societal revolution? What's going on? Well, really, for the last uh, 20 years, the Middle East has been disintegrating into chaos. Uh, the rise of Islamic terrorism, the uh, collapse of the post-war I boundaries drawn by the Europeans, uh, terrorists really right across uh, Africa and Northeast, the Iranian nuclear weapons program. Uh, just one conflict after another. This missile launch by the Houthi rebels in Yemen, a good uh, example. Uh, undoubtedly, they got that missile from Iran, uh, so I think the Saudis are exactly right on that point. Uh, but this is going to be very complicated, very difficult. We need a comprehensive strategy in the Middle East. We don't have one now. Uh, and we need to finally uh, decide if we're going to go after uh, the, the uh, Iranian uh, nuclear weapons program. At the same time, the president's got to deal with the North Korean nuclear weapons program. The president inherited a lot, and most of it's a mess from his predecessor. It's all coming due. All the bills are coming due very, very quickly. Wow. Ambassador, we love having you on. Please come back soon. Great Will insight do. Thank there. You.